We're on your block in downtown Detroit where there's some pretty exciting updates and changes coming to the sports landscape in our city. Plus, a special giveaway this weekend for Red Wings fans. Jordan, who do you have with you this morning? Uh, I'm sure everyone can recognize this guy, Ryan Gustafson with Illich. Um, Detroit has been crazy. The sports scene the last couple years, I've talked to you probably every three or four months now, giving me what I would say are better updates on sports teams here in the city. The Red Wings gravy boat kind of went viral last year. We're bringing it back. Scooble, unanimous, A.L. Cy Young. Red Wings with a great win last night. Tigers are off. Lions, I mean, have been phenomenal. Ryan, where do you want to start? <laughs> well, we can start with this gravy boat. Let's start with the that. gravy boat. I mean, this obviously is going to be a giveaway. Uh, take us through the design and what game and how many fans can get the gravy boat. Uh, yeah, so this Saturday, 7,500 fans, as you mentioned, uh, kind of went a viral sensation last year with the gravy boat. So we brought it back this year with a little twist. Uh, we had a fan vote and design process on this one uh, via social media. So this is the result of that. I know our, our fans are excited about it. And obviously coming off a big win last night, we're excited for a great weekend. Let's touch on the giveaways. I feel like each year giveaways have become more and more. And then afterwards something i love to do is check the ebay or the post uh retail sales and sometimes these go for hundreds of dollars i remember the mickey redmond bobblehead went for like 150 dollars why is it so special to get your hand on a piece of like red wings merchandise i just i think because they're so unique and each year you have different ones and um you know especially when we tie in red wings legends or, or cool promotions like this this gravy boat it's uh it's something that you know only a handful of fans can get when they come down to the arena. So um, you know you get a lot of uh, interesting, uh, uh, interested fans that, that want to get them after the fact. Okay, moving on to baseball. Uh, Comerica Park. If you haven't seen it, uh, there's a lot going on behind home plate. Mm -hmm. uh, take us through these new seats, this new club, what people can expect at Comerica next season. Yeah. So uh, thanks uh, to ownership, we're, we're building out a, a new home plate club. It's first of its kind here uh, in Detroit with baseball. Um, and, you know, we heard a lot from fans around a uh, variety of experiences, and we were missing a little bit on premium clubs and uh, just are super thrilled to be uh, building this out for next season. Uh, 350 seats. We just announced this week that there'll be climate-controlled seats, uh, both okay. heating and cooling. So hot summer days or those cold April days, uh, you'll have a climate-controlled seat. Um, and, you know, it's something that we continue to do is in, invest in the ballpark. And um, this is a big project for us this offseason if you haven't seen the photos of it. And I hope we can feel those cold seats come next October. Yeah. I mean, that will be the goal. I remember being in the uh, during the Guardians game. I was at game four in Comerica. Awesome atmosphere, but even behind home plate, going to be even better. Ryan, before we let you go, one more time um, on the gravy boat, because I know it's going to be popular. When can people get it again? Uh, this Saturday. Uh, 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 we're, uh, Little Caesars Arena playing the Bruins. Uh, first 7,500 fans.